Hi friends, thank you so much for coming back to this channel. I am so grateful that you find it necessary to come to this page. My name is Darlene Fee and today we are going to look at how to use the calculator to solve questions involving geometric progression. So now we have a sample question and we want to solve. The fourth and the eighth terms of a GP are 24 and 8 on 27 respectively. Find the A, 10th term, B, sum of the first 10 sequence. Now to do that, we want to use this procedure I have listed on the left hand side of your screen. So step one, you press mode, then you press number three and then number six. So let's go. So you press the mode, and then you press number three, and then you also press number six. So we have number six here. Now we are having this. This interface we have the x coordinates and then we have the y coordinates. Now the x coordinate simply means the number of terms, and then the y coordinate simply means the corresponding values for the term. So in the question, the number of terms here we have the fourth term and then the eighth term. So we are going to write fourth term and then the eighth term under the x. And the corresponding values for the fourth term and the eighth term in the question are 24 and then 28 on 27. Now these values will be written along the y column. So let's go. We have the fourth term. So you press 4 and then you press is equal to. The next term is the eighth term. So you press 8 and then it's equal to. So now these are the two terms given in the question. So you use the top arrow, okay, the arrow to move up, and then you use the right arrow to go to the y coordinate. And we are saying that the fourth term is 24, and then the eighth term in the question is 8 over 27. So the fourth term, the corresponding value is 24. So we are going to enter 24 on the calculator, and then don't forget to press equal to whenever you enter any data regarding geometric progression. Then for the A term, the A term also corresponds with 8 over 27. Now here, the normal fraction button doesn't work, okay? So let's go take it one after the other. We have 8 over 27. So 8 here, and then you press the fraction button, this one, then over 27, that is 2, 7. So we have gotten them, and then you enter the equal to. So, step one, you press mode, and then you press three, and then you press six. We have done, we have done that. And then step two, you enter the data, and that's what you have done. Remember, we said that under the X coordinate, you are going to put the number of terms. And then below the Y coordinate, you are going to indicate the corresponding values for the term. Now, once you are done, don't forget your calculator will save the data you have entered automatically. So we have to move to the next stage, and you can only do that by pressing AC. So you press this AC. Now the data you have entered, as long as you are seeing stats on it, indicate that your data is still on the calculator intact. So we are done with step one, we are done with step two, and we are done with step three. Now let's come to step number four. Okay, so step four says that I'll uh, say that we should press shift. And then you press 1, 5, and then 5. Okay, so let's go. So you press shift, and then you press number 1. Then you, we are taking number 5. Now let's look at this. If you look at this carefully, it is giving you an exciting thing. What does this mean? This is what you are looking for, the Y cap. Okay, so the Y cap simply refers to what is the term you are looking for. Now in the question, we are looking for the 10th term. So you click on 5. And then, the, if you go follow the procedure, we are saying that you now press the left arrow because we want to move the cursor from this place to this place. So the left arrow, you click on it, and the cursor moves. Now, we are looking for the 10th term. So you are going to press 10 here. So 10th term, like this. And then you, you press the equal sign. Bam. So now this is the 10th term. But if you want to get it in fraction form, then you press the SD button. So when I press the SD, it means the 10th term for this particular sequence is going to be 8 over 
two four three. So we have succeeded in using our calculator to find the tenth term. Okay, so we want to explain this. If you are looking for a particular term, maybe the first term, the fourth term, the twentieth term, the fortieth term, then you are going to use this Y cap. But anytime you are looking for the nth term, then you are to use the this one, option four. Okay, so now we are going to look for the solution uh, question B. If the nth term is eight over two four three, find the nth term. So we use option four by clicking four, and then once again you move the cursor to the left hand side of it using the left arrow. So I press the left arrow. This time around we are not going to write the nth term, no. But the value of the nth term has been given. So we are going to write the value of the nth term here, and that is eight over two four three. Again, on this particular function, the fraction would not appear the way you see it. So you take it one after the other. So let's go, we have 8, and then you press the fraction key, 8 over, then we have 2, 4, 3. That is 2, 4, 3. Okay, now we can press the equal sign to find out what is this particular n term. By pressing the equal sign, you see that now it means the 8 over 2, 4, 3 is actually the 10th term. Okay. It's actually the 10th term. So it means the 10th term is 8 over 2, 4, 3. You can still cross check, okay, by repeating this same step 4. So let's repeat that and cross check and see. So you press shift, you press 1, you press 5, and then 5 again. We want to find the 10th term. If the 10th term will be equal to this, let's move the cursor to the left hand side and then let's press 10 because when we enter this, the calculator told us that the, um, this value goes with the 10th term. So with this, let me press my equal sign and see what I get. So this is what I'm getting, and this is in decimal. I want to change or convert this decimal to fraction by pressing the SD button. So obviously, you see you are getting 8 over 2, 4, 3, which means our 10th term is 8 over 2, 4, 3. Now the next thing that we do is to go to the um, is to go to the question C and then we deal with that. Question says that we should find the sum of the first ten sequence. First ten, meaning from number one to number ten. Okay, so how do you go by that? Now to do that, we are going to have this particular formula. So all you are going to do is to write this expression on your calculator. Summation x y cap comma one comma ten. Let me explain this. Anytime you are to find the sum of any whether A P or G P, you must use this expression. But why from this one and ten? The one and ten is not constant. The question says we should look for the first ten terms. That's why I have first 10. That means from number 1 to number 10. If the question has asked us to find the first 20 terms, okay, find the sum of the first 20. That will be from number 1 to number 20. Find the sum of the first 8 terms. That will be from number 1 to number 8. But because the question asks us to find the first 10, the sum of the first 10 terms, that is why I have this um, 1 and then 10. Now, how do we get this on the calculator? So, let's now go back to our calculator and get the details there. Okay. So, to find the sum of any, whether AP or GP, you must always have this, this summation. Now, where is this summation on the calculator? If you look on, you can see it here, just below of the on key. Okay. And look at the color. So, it means to get this particular... Um, function on the calculator, you must first press the shift. Then you come and press this. So we have shift and then we have lock. And you see that we are having summation sign there. And then the formula we have x. And we know this is our x. Okay, written in red. To get that one, you press the alpha and then you press the x. You are getting this. For those who have missed our um, episode, in fact, we have a, a video covering how to use these functions. So if you haven't watched it, 
kindly look down the description button the link is there okay and then go and watch it and please make sure you subscribe now let's go so summation x we have this now how do we get the y cap if you remember to get the y cap we were pressing shift one and then five five okay so to get the y cap you press shift you press one you press five and then five again so the y cap is there and then we have comma here so this comma look at it okay this is the comma look at the color okay so it means to get this particular key you need to press shift first and then you press the bracket we have the comma on then we have the first 10 okay so the first one then you need to separate it with the comma too so you press the same comma and that will be shift and then you press this and then the last figure that we need okay is 10 so that is 10 here so this is going to be the sum for the first 10 okay the sum for the first 10 now to avoid any uh, any inconvenience just close your brackets and then you press the equal sign so once you press the equal sign bam it means the sum of the first 10 um gp okay is going to be this how about supposing we were asked to find the sum of the first let's say 18 okay the first 18 that means you need to have summation x y cap comma one and then comma then here should be 18 so you only go back and you edit okay to have 18 there so the sum for the first 18 when you press you are actually going to get this particular answer so ladies and gentlemen this is how far um, this video will take us and we know that you have subscribed and please keep watching the video make sure you master the acts so that whenever you enter into examination you will not find yourself wanting thank you so much and have a good day